Hello, it's been a while since I've put out a video. Anyway, I've done a whole lot of work on the server here. I've collected a bunch of resources, some of it from the nether. That's a uh, brewing stand going. Uh, I've got plenty of iron. Don't know if I've showed you this yet, but I think I have actually. Oh well. Let's see, I've got going for silk touch so I could pick up some grass to uh, bring up the island, which is doing a lot nicer than it was before. Hard to see with that cloud in the way. I can just outrun the cloud. It's just Minecraft. Anyway, it's coming along great. It's still going to take a really long time to actually finish the shell, though. It's coming along slowly, just... I have to get the cobblestone, then I have to smelt it, then I have to get coal for it, too. And uh, that just takes a long time to do. Then I have to... After that, then I have to fill in each layer with water and then dump lava on top of it. But anyway, I've built this nice little walkway. I think he's going to have roads like this all over the server. I think these look nice, but uh, if you have any suggestions for how I could change this, maybe different materials, I kind of like the cobble on the side, wood in the middle look. Even have this little uh, bridge effect underneath. I kind of like it. Believe it or not, I never fell to my death and died once while working on that island, but I once fell to my death while working on this bridge. Really. I'll show you how. Basically, right in here somewhere. Let's see where it is. I think it's this block. Yeah, this was open. So I'm just walking around out here. Then just suddenly, whoop, fall straight down there. The funniest thing is, I knew that was there. I'd seen it before, like the first day on the server. I knew, I called it to myself, that's going to be one of my deaths. Right in that hole. And it was, that was the first death while I was building this. But, oh well. I've also built this nice little bridge over here, which I'm going to show you. Got work on this intersection as well. I think it's looking pretty nice. Has this nice curved look to it. And this bridge going over this ravine. Thought I'd throw in a glass floor. I just uh, had a whole bunch of glass that I got from this desert. But it is a server rule that you never quarry deserts that are too close to spawn. Just why I had to go about 2,000 blocks to quarry a desert. It's annoying, but it's a lot better than having quarried deserts all over your server. Anyway, that's the glass that I had a lot of. I've been spending a lot of time resource building, or uh, resource collecting. I'll just uh, go through the chest so you guys know what I have. Bunch of posts and supplies. I am actually stocking up on these wooden slabs before 1.3, just so we'll have a whole bunch of them reserved up. Because in 1.3, you don't actually get to make wooden slabs anymore. In 1.3, you make, what is it, oak slabs or spruce slabs, and those can burn. So naturally, I want to save up on these, so you know these will still not burn. But after 1.3, you can't make those anymore. Anyway, let's see. I've got a few dungeons raided. C collecting dirt and stone for the islands. Cobblestone, always useful. Got a little iron. In. Put that away. Plenty of redstone. Okay, I'm in the nether now. There's a gas shooting at me. I, d I have no idea where this guy is. Apparently, he knows where I am, though. This raid will just blast a hole to me. Where is this guy? Well, if we just wait a minute, I'm sure we'll know because he'll have just drilled a hole through the nether to get to me. Anyway, we'll ignore the ghast for right now. Down this tunnel, uh, that's right next to my portal, is actually the way to another person's house. Someone else who's on the server. They're not on right now, of course. Anyway, this goes about a thousand blocks total. It's about 700 this way, and then about 250 that way. And uh, I'll show you that person's house right when I get there. Alright, we're back. Uh, I just ran about for about four minutes through this tunnel. 
And here is the portal to the guy's house. The guy's name is QWERTY, by the way. His in Minecraft in-game name is, uh, I don't know, it's long and it's a long string of letters. Anyway, here it is. He's got the nice mushroom biome. Funny story, uh, me and QWERTY actually walked about, oh, uh, that far to get here. So we just went on the trek for a long time, I don't know, maybe an hour or something. And eventually we came across this. I kind of like it, it's a pretty nice biome. Now, that's really what I wanted that silk touch for, is to uh, bring back some of this mycelium. I'd love to get some of these mushrooms too, but you can see my coordinates and why that would be a problem. Just turn off the coordinates. Anyway, let's see what he's actually built so far. Let's see what we got in here. He's got, actually, you know what? I'm going to refill. That's why I love mushrooms. Infinite food. Easy. Yeah, okay, he hasn't built a whole lot yet, but he's only been on for one day. And most of that day was just finding this place. So that was a four minute trip here. Uh, I guess that's really all the show that's actually over here. So I guess we'll be going back. Should be fun for me. I really should install a rail cart in here. All right, we're back. All right, that was another like four minute walk or something. I grabbed a few nether wart while we was uh, here at the farm. So uh, one last thing that we're going to talk about is that this was going to be the last video for a few days now. I uh, should be putting up videos again next week. I'm just going out of town for a few days. But I'm sure you'll be fine. All 22 of you. That's how many subs I have right now, anyway. 22. But I'm sure that number's going to go up. Well, you can see my little uh, storage and enchanting setup here. Here's my mine shaft. It's got a lot bigger. So, I guess that I'll call this an episode. See you next time.